Hey, the question is this, is God's love unconditional? There's so many people that believe that, yes, I know that God loves me, but I need to know, is God's love unconditional? And that's the question that we're going to be unpacking today. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by liking, commenting, sharing this with someone else. And you can also leave a comment asking a question. I really believe that God has given me insight on helping people share their faith, but also defend God's grace and God's love for people. So today's question is, is God's love unconditional? And the answer to that is absolutely, without a doubt, God's love is is unconditional but what i want to do today is i want to give us three reasons why we can believe that god's love is unconditional number one we can know that god's love is unconditional because of jesus the bible says in romans chapter 5 verse 8 it says that jesus demonstrated his own love that while we were yet sinners he loved us which is to say that he didn't choose to love us when we were at our best he didn't choose to love us when he knew and he could guarantee that we would reciprocate his love. He didn't choose to love us in the ideal circumstances and in the ideal situations and in the ideal way. No, he chose to love us even while we were his enemies. In other words, we didn't want anything to do with God. God still chose to love people who would turn their back on him without any guarantee that they would return to him. So the way we know that God's love is unconditional is number one, that Jesus demonstrated his own love that while we were still sinners, he died for us. Number two, God doesn't keep a record of our wrong. The Bible says that on the cross, Jesus Christ paid for every single one of our sins. And according to Hebrews chapter eight, that God chooses to forgive and forget our sins. The Bible says that our lawless and our wicked deeds, he will remember no more. So we know that God's love is unconditional because he actually chooses to not only forgive our sins, not only pay for our sins, but to erase the record that we have committed those sins in the first place. And number three is that Jesus loved Judas. I want you to think about that for a second. The greatest demonstration of who God is and how God interacts with people is the life of Jesus. Jesus loving Judas is proof that God's love is unconditional. Right before Jesus was about to be crucified on the cross, he ate with the disciples. He knew that Judas would do what he was going to do, yet he still chose to eat with Judas, lead Judas, talk to Judas. He still chose to wash Judas's feet. He still chose to love Judas despite knowing that Judas would betray him. The first verse of John chapter 13, he says, John writes this about Jesus. He says that Jesus loved all his disciples until the end of the age. He loved all his disciples and that included Judas. My friends, God's love is unconditional. And you know that because he demonstrated his love through the life of Jesus. You know that because he keeps no record of wrong. And you know this because it's proof in the life of Jesus loving Judas. Hey, if this blessed you, make sure you connect with me. All the information that you need to do that is in the description below. You can also partner up, become a Patreon partner. Now, here's the thing. My goal is to share this content with everyone in the world. It, I really believe this message needs to get out there. And one of the ways that we can support this ministry is by becoming a monthly partner. You can start as low as a dollar, but you don't have to stay there. You can do $5 or $10 or maybe $100 a month, whatever it takes. Now, I never wanted to put any of my content behind a paywall. And so what you're doing is you're just saying, hey, I want to support this ministry and I want it to go further and I want it to reach more people. So if you're choosing to do that, I want to say thank you. And if you can't do it that way, but maybe you want to make a purchase, you can support us through our merchandise. And all that information is in the description below. Thank you once again. I'll see you in the next one.